Hey guys, happy day three. I am covering today the magic formula to success in this business. And I'll tell you what it is right off the bat. Fitness plus nutrition plus support equals results, okay? You are the magic formula to success. And I wanna start this video off that way because you can't go anywhere in this business without elevating your mindset towards it, without being in phase one yourself and getting the vitals done every single day. So let's kind of talk about a couple things that Noelle and I do every single month to continuously see success because the thing is here, guys, there's consistency. That's the only way that we create success in our business. So the first and foremost thing is every month, for the rest of time, you're going to run a challenge group every month because you have to have something to invite to. You guys know exactly when Noelle and I run accountability groups every single month, and most likely you've plugged your previous challengers into them. But the thing is, you don't elevate your leadership until you run your own challenge groups. They don't have to be perfect. You don't have to come up with all the content. That's the great thing about being on teams that have been around for a while. You guys can take challenge group scripts from the back office, because there's tons there per program, FYI. Or you can go into our team page and look in the file section and take scripts, make it your own, you know, share that with your downline, duplicate the things that are already there instead of reinventing the wheel and setting a date every single month. Because here's the thing, I put a date on the calendar every single month and then I back up two weeks and I say, okay, I have until XYZ date to help three people at a minimum. And really, I push myself to five every single month because I want to grow faster. But you got to put your, your booty to the fire and make a drop deadline because this business is a business, right? You got to treat it that way. And if you don't put a deadline to things, you're never going to stay in the phase one activities that we need to do every single day. So the other thing is you have to be excited about what you're doing. So I pick a theme for my groups every single month so that I'm continuously excited about it. If I'm not excited about it, my challengers aren't going to be excited about it. So you, you can't just keep doing the same thing and expect different results, right? It's the same thing with your fitness. With your business, change things up. Try something new. Create a competition. Get on Pinterest and find a challenge to incorporate. A lot of my ideas literally come from Pinterest. I just type in challenge group ideas, um, fun challenges, come up with something that's going to relate to what you're going through that month, what you maybe need help with, because most likely your niche needs help with it too. So let's talk about staying in phase one. It starts with you committing to a program, you sharing every bit of that journey, and you being in the trenches with your challengers. You can't just run a challenge group and back off of your own health and fitness. It doesn't work that way. Your business is your health and fitness. And so you need to commit to a program every single month. And I'm not talking the same 21 day fix every single month. I'm talking 21 day fix one month, then maybe upgrade to extreme, then maybe try country heat, then maybe upgrade to max 30, then go to the beach body yoga studio. You know, sharing your goals publicly and then talking about how you're prepping for that program, talk about what it kind of entails, going live and sharing about your accountability group two weeks prior to the start date, and giving the passion and excitement that you have for this upcoming group. Because again, the energy that you bring into the room is the energy your challengers are gonna bring. So whatever you do, they're gonna do. And so I check myself with that a lot because I can't expect them to post selfies every day, to log into a Google Sheet and log points for a competition, or to get on Facebook and share their journey if I'm not doing that. So you need to come up with ways that are engaging. I also like to come up with ideas that are going to start creating coach-like thinking. And what I mean by that, they're already going to be doing their Shakeology and their workout every single day. Why not come up with a point system where every Thursday they're going to go on and share their story on your, your Facebook page and share what's working for them, share why they're excited about it. Because here's the thing, guys, if your Facebook page is public, like we talked about, and they are sharing onto your page, your friends are going to be seeing that, their friends are going to be seeing their posts, and they're going to say, hey, what's that girl up to? She's looking great. I need to know more about that. And that gives you 
an in to invite to um, friend that person and start the relationship with them and asking your challenger, hey, have you talked to so-and-so? It looks like they're interested in the next group. Let's get them set up. And there you start coaching opportunities without them even thinking about coaching. The other thing is creating personal development groups within your challenge group. Maybe there's a book of the month that you are going to have all your challengers commit to. The whole challenge group is going to be surrounded by that book. You're going to talk about it. Um, that's a great way to get people involved on another level. Um, and then, you know, just staying in phase one in the sense, again, your journey is your business. So if you're not sharing it, it's not going to go anywhere, right? Phase one means you're continuously inviting. You always have something to invite to. You always have something you're excited about. And again, it really starts with your own mindset, getting a date on the calendar, being a business owner and knowing that, okay, two weeks before this, I got to get moving. So just knowing that nutrition plus fitness plus accountability and support equals results and challenge groups are the bread and butter of that. So get a date on the calendar. Your homework today is going to be to create that 100 person list you want to invite to your next group and start talking to people. Start getting those relationships going, no matter if you are getting back to phase one or you're continuing phase one from last month because you did really well. Now's the time to dig in, to get over whatever happened last month and just start anew and know that today is the day that you can turn it around, that you can get excited again about what you're doing and you have permission to go get excited about a new challenge group and invite to it. All right, guys, I can't wait to see your list and I will see you tomorrow.